Hey guys, this is Rob with Vapor Street here again. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Helios Dripping Atomizer, the RDA. Remember the other the other video I made? I had the Maraxis here, and I had the the uh, RDA on there, the Helios. So anyway, like I say, I got this off Fast Tech here. It's real cheap. I've been watching other reviews on it. I know it's been out for a little while. I was watching other reviews on it where they were saying that it uh, adjustable airflow didn't work. Well, mine's got the adjustable airflow ring right here. I got it on the one and a little over. One and a little over. But mine, I, the ring does adjust. I mean, I, I don't know why the other people's didn't or not, but my airflow ring does adjust. And what I did is I know it does only come with two air holes on this one side right here. So what I did is I drilled another air hole on this side because this is set up where you do dual coils. And I really like the airflow to come on come on both sides. You know, get get more uh, production. But like I say, you just another thing I like about this is this cap. You just unscrew this cap right here. It's got a screw screw on cap like that. So you can see the top of the coil or the posts and stuff in there but you can't adjust this and then what I like about this you use that cap to lock it in place you loosen it up so you can adjust the just the ring here you can go none you know two one none however you want like I say I got adjusted for I got the air hole on the other side I drilled it out it is kind of a little bit harder to drill these than some of the other ones I've done so Actually, that makes me kind of happy that it's more durable, you know. But anyway, you put that where you want, and then you just screw that down tight, and it'll lock it in place for you so you don't have to worry about it constantly adjusting the airflow for you. So now it's locked in there. I mean, you can't beat that. I like that. You know, I don't have to sit there and constantly, oh, shoot, my freaking ring just adjusted on me. Now I lost the airflow. So I like that part on it. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to put this on here because we're going to be rebuilding coal on it too. But I want to look at the po the pin right there. Look at that. That's copper contact, copper, copper 510 connecting pin right there. I mean, that's even more, more conductive than that old, the other stuff that they use, brass and all that. This is actual copper pin. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, this thing pretty cheap on fast tech. Uh, like I say, this right here, I like this too. Look at that. It's got three posts, but the center positive one, actually you can put, it's got two separate holes for different, for putting your coils on there. What I like about that is you can put twisted gauge coils on there. Some people like to do 32 gauge twisted and stuff like that, 28 gauge. Well, you don't have to drill the holes out with this. I mean, you just do your wire, throw it in there. Now, maybe if you did like a twisted 24 or something like that, maybe, yeah, you might have to drill the hole, but I don't like drilling holes in the post. I mean, sometimes you take chances of messing up the threads and stuff on in there. But what I like about this is I could put a dual 26 gauge coils in there, and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about the holes being too small for that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a a dual 26 gauge coil on there and uh, hopefully we get it somewhere around 0.2 ohm coil I mean you don't have to have a a lot of different I know a lot of people you know build a bunch of different coils trying to get uh, clouds and stuff and I mean all you really need is basic setup you know 26 gauge wire is good enough low you know lower resistance than the smaller wire you do a couple of those, dual coil, I mean, you're going to get vapor, you know, good vapor production. So, like I say, you don't have to buy a ton of stuff to get good, good clouds. That's what we're going to try to do is get good clouds. We're going to try to get this as a, a 0.2 ohm dual coil. It's not a super coil or anything. It's just regular, you know, like a micro coil. That's that's all it's going to be. We're going to wrap the 26 gauge right here. We've got the 26 gauge right there. Canthal wire. We're going to wrap that on a 
an eighth inch drill bit here. Make sure you guys see if you guys see that there. It's an eighth inch drill bit. See that? So, I mean, like I say, this ain't gonna be a, a nano coil or super nano or nothing like this, just basic coils. So, we need a couple of them, a couple uh, wires. We'll bring this down here so you can see. So there we go, we got it right there. Get a couple 20, couple two inch uh, pieces of canthal wire here. I don't like to use the bent ends because they wind up getting hard to get in there. Like I say, we're only gonna do a three, three wraps. So you don't need a, a ton of it. It's another thing, you last on your wire wire lasts longer so we got our two pieces here I already cut one earlier we got two pieces here so all we're gonna do is put it on the drill bit like that so do three over the top two underneath so one two three that's all you need right there that's it nothing special you don't have to do stuff special to get clouds We'll kind of smash them together a little bit. Yeah, that's all you need right there. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. We like the top post to go in the into the positive. That's the way I like it. Top post, the over the over the top part of the coil. I like to go in the top into the positive post and then the underneath I like to go in the ground so there we go we put it in there like that get it up close like I say it don't have to be nothing fancy take this kind of pull it in there pull this side in a little bit this is Allen's. I might change those as Phillips head screws because I like those work better. You can always get a Phillips screw anywhere. Phillips screwdriver. If it comes loose. Don't want to over tighten it. Strip the thread, strip the head out on the Allen. The more islands that come on these, that's the only downfall on them, is those are a little kind of messed up a little bit. So then we'll just tighten this side down, the positive post. Get it snug. It's a little bit thicker wire, so you can snug it down a little bit more than the thinner wire. Kind of straighten it up a little bit here. Kind of give it a little squeeze. Kind of bring that coil away from the wall. Don't want it on the wall. So there we go. That's the first one. Like I say, nothing fancy. Don't need nothing fancy to do that. Just make sure it's not overlapping the overlapping the base. Want to make sure it's all inside the base. Like that. Make sure we got a little lip. We got a little lip there. We might shove that over just a little bit more. Kind of like that. Check the connections since we're playing with it. So that's the first one and we're just going to do the same thing again here let's go there hold it on there like that and do one two three just three little wraps kind of squeeze it together I know you guys a lot of people's already built plenty of coals but I'm just showing you that you can get good clouds 
with just your basic dual coil, nothing fancy. So we got that. Make sure the wires ain't overlapping each other. Alright, we'll put the positive in. Positive in first, over the top, like the other one. You always want to make sure you wrap the coils exactly the same way both times. That way you can get your positive at the the over the over the top wire being your positive every time. Tighten the positive post down. Just kind of snug it a little. Get the negative post where you want it. Snug it down. Then we can kind of look at it and make sure it's right. Alright. Kind of just look at it. Alright, looks alright. It's pretty good. Now we're going to tighten it all the way. I say you want to get them pretty tight. Check them all again. Alright, I think they're all nice and tight now. We'll go ahead and move this coil over a little bit too. Kind of get it where we want it, get it away from the wall. Don't want anything touching. That looks pretty good there. Go ahead and do the other side, get a little more in the center. Kind of squeeze them up a little. Alright. I think we got it there. I twist this one around a little bit. I like I'm kind of picky about them being straight. That looks pretty good. So there we go. Messed with it again. I like to check the connections. Alright, so let's clip off all the edges here. Alright, so let's check the resistance. Should be somewhere around 0.2. Yeah, see, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 ohm coils. Alright. So that's why I say you wrap it on the bigger stuff, you're going to get that. Wrap it on something bigger, the, the resistance will go a little bit higher. Because you're going to be putting more wire in there. So we're going to put organic cotton in there. So I like to use organic cotton. Push that through there. Pull it through. I like to get it to a little bit of a thick area. Pull it through to the thick area. Alright, now we're just going to take, tuck this up underneath it right here. Just tuck this up underneath it. Like that. Trim this off. Trim that off. Take it again and kind of tuck it up underneath there. 
just like that. That's all there is to it. Take another piece. Take another piece of cotton for the other one. Like I say I like to go the long way so I can pull it through and make sure I get to the area that's a little bit thicker. I can check it while I'm going through. See that's a little bit thicker area. There we go. We'll take this and tuck this up underneath there. Tuck it up underneath the coil there. Alright, and then we'll take cut this part off. We don't need all of it. Like I said, I found this to be about the best build for this. For the Helios. Helios. Tried different builds. I tried the Super Nano coil and all that in it. This is about the best build for it. So there we go. Got it all built. Right there, see that? You don't need all that fancy stuff to produce clouds. We'll get, get it all wet. Alright, and then we'll we'll put it on the we'll put it on the Maraxis. Like I say, we we are gonna be using a the E Fast 35 amp battery. Gotta be safe. Even though this is only about 20 amp battery would work just fine with it. Because it's only going up about 17 amps. Alright. We'll kind of hit it a little bit. You know. Got to get it nice and warm. Let the juice soak down. It's producing good vapor right now. Look at that. Spring it back up. Like I say, you can produce good vapor, just normal stuff. You don't have to have all that fancy stuff. Put some more juice on it. I didn't have to worry about heating it up. It's only three wraps. If I was going to do a micro coil, I'd heat it up and adjust it to get the hot spots out. Since it's only three wraps, there ain't really that much adjustments you have to do with it. I mean, it's producing right there. Let's line up the holes. Take a little hit. Like I say, that's a pretty thick pretty thick uh, vapor there and it's a pretty good cloud.
Yeah, pretty thick. <coughs> like I say, this old Helios from Fast Tech, I think it's like, I don't know, maybe eight bucks or something. But you get a little drill, drill that out a little bit, get more airflow. You build yourself any coil you want. You use bigger gauge wire. That's why that's one of the main reasons why I like it. You can adjust the airflow if you don't want. If you only want a single coil, you only got to do one. You don't have to drill the hole or anything in it. <coughs> I mean, excellent flavor, excellent vapor. Just a three wrap over an eighth inch drill bit with 26 gauge. That's all you need. Make clouds. All right. Well, that's it for today. All right. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the videos. And so that way, when we got giveaways right now, we got the private V2 from Grand Vapor going on right now. You go to that video, make a comment. We're going to be picking out the comments. You got to be subscribed and make a comment. That's all you got to do. Pick the winner. All right. Till next time.